many of you guys might not know, but the name Trey Massengale uh, should be in the heart and soul of many, um, because he's probably by far the most innovative zombie duelist um, that has showed his face the entire time the deck has been good. Um, he did win YCS Orlando 2011 with the deck, and as you guys saw on Asian Persuasion's channel, um, he barely made the top cut uh, at the regional. But in Des Moines, Iowa this weekend, he got second place with this build. Um, it's really interesting. Um, looking at this particular deck, um, you might go, oh, well, why? Why is this a thing? I mean, it's Zombie Lightsworn. And if you guys can kind of understand the pseudo, like, innovative tech that comes with innovating things like this. So he did manage to find some feasible way to make zombies work with a minimum light sword engine, which I actually found very innovative in itself. So let's start things off. One Jane, triple Lila, triple Lumina, the two card trooper, triple Necrogardena, and then the one of Bacon Saber. It pretty much acts as the same thing as Necrogardena, which is actually very nice, but you can only use the effect once per duel. So you at least get four Necrogardeners. Uh, Endless Decay, which you talked about being a win condition, uh, which is actually very broken. Uh, it's such a good card. Uh, one of Pyramid Turtle, the one Goblin Zombie, two Mizukis, two Plagues, those triple Malicious, one Black Cluster, one Dad, and one Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, for spells, the two Solar Recharge, Charge, Allure, and then two MSTs for Disruption. The Trap Board Breakthrough, triple Phoenix, Bottomless, Solemn Warning, one Save Zone, and one Return. Uh, pretty interesting tech for the Safe Zone. The Extra Deck, one Gauntlet Launcher, one Levier, Lobel Chain, and Cowboy. Uh, Abyss Dweller, Photon Strike Monster, Catastrophe, Revived King Hades, Orient Dragon, Colossal, Dark End, Crimson Blader, Scrap Dragon, Void, and Stardust. His side deck, Triple Maxi, Triple DD Crow, and Triple Effect Veiler, those nine hand traps. The two Rikos, one Zombie World, the two Wild Tornado, such a good card, and the one Transmigration Prophecy. So guys, this is the top eight Des Moines zombie sworn deck i uh, really really innovative i hope you guys enjoy this deck profile uh, please thumbs up this video for innovation and i'll talk to you guys later on